Good day everyone, it's exam bonus again. Our website is www.exambonus.com. Please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel before you continue watching the video. And you can turn on the notification as we are going to be dropping more banger and very very hot updates as regards 2025 YEG examination. So today I'm here to talk about 2025 YEG and Greek practical specimens. So in this video, I will actually be leaking out some real questions. But then if you want the questions word for word, then you have to DM me on WhatsApp. My WhatsApp number will be below this video till the end of the video. So straight to the point, please make sure that if you are going to send me a message on WhatsApp, please make sure that you have it at the back of your mind that you are going to be making payment to us. So if you do have any intention of making payment to us, don't even bother messaging us at all so right back to the why agri practical specimens so today i'm going to be analyzing these specimens i'm going to be predicting the questions at the same time i'm also going to be leaking out some real question right here so if at all you are wondering why you should dm me on whatsapp you are dming me on whatsapp to get the real question and to also join our vip group which costs about some of six thousand naira to join our vip group so today we have about 10 11 12 13 14 15 we have about 15 specimens to discuss here today i'm going to be taking my time to discuss this specimen one after the other and i'm also going to be teaching you how you can relate one specimen to the other because not all your questions will be about one specimen some questions can be directed to two specimens so let's start with identifying the specimen specimen a is ammonium sulfate specimen b is muriate of potash specimen c is cow dung specimen d is compost specimen e cutlass specimen f spade specimen g wheelbarrow specimen h yam b2 specimen i cow pea weevil specimen j centrosema pebbles specimen k spear grass specimen l gizzard specimen m goat skin with hairs specimen n horn plus now very important please get your pen and your biro and paper so your pen your biro your pencil and your paper and your eraser because i'm going to be giving you only questions i'm not going to be telling you the answer as i usually do in my formal video because not everyone appreciates what we actually do here so though i might change my mind as i go through this video but then just get your pen ready and your paper to get the question so your first question in the exam or should we identify specimen A, B, C, D? Why do I say it's identify specimen A, B, C, D? Because that is the real question. And then specimen A, B, C, D are actually talking about manures and fertilizer. So literally, they just belong to the same class of specimens since they're talking about what organic fertilizer, inorganic fertilizer, manures, inorganic manure, and organic manure. Manures are majorly what organic. So we don't have inorganic manure. So now get down straight to the point. I define specimen A as state two not nutrient it supplies to the soil. State two nutrients specimen A supplies to the soil. Okay, let me just help you guys by giving you the answer so you don't stress yourself too much. Specimen A is ammonium sulfate and it supplies nitrogen and sulfur to the soil. So specimen A supplies what? It supplies nitrogen and sulfur to the soil specimen b muriate of potash so from the word potash you would have known that muriate of potash supplies majorly what potassium to the soil so now mention two advantages of using specimen c as a fertilizer what are the disadvantages disadvantages of using specimen c as a fertilizer Specimen C is what? Cow dung. What are the disadvantages of using cow dung as a fertilizer? Specimen C releases nutrients slowly and may introduce weed seed. So the disadvantages of using cow dung is number one, it, re it releases nutrients what? Slowly. Number two, it can introduce weed seeds. 
seeds of weed. So specimen C, your cow dog can introduce seed weeds, weed seeds, whichever. So now compare specimen A and B in terms of nutrient content and release. Specimen A is ammonium sulfate, is rich, rich in nitrogen and fast acting. So specimen A what it acts what fast, moderate of potash provides potassium and acts moderately. So your moderate of potash is not as slow as your cow dung, but it is what it acts what moderately, and then it's also what it provides potassium. State the two disadvantages of using specimen D over specimen A. What are the disadvantages of using compost manure over ammonium sulfate? State two advantages of using specimen D over specimen A. Specimen D, your compost manual, it improves soil structure and it's environmentally friendly. So your compost manual, it improves the soil structure and it is environmental friendly. Unlike the cow dunk, unlike the ammonium sulfate, specimen D is more environmental friendly than what? Than ammonium sulfate. Describe how specimen D is prepared. How is compost prepared? How is compost prepared? It is prepared by piling organic waste in layers, moisturing them and turning them periodically until decomposition occurs. So this your teacher must have explained to you this particular statement I just made during your agri practical classes or your agri classes. Specimen D compost is prepared by piling organic waste. So you pile up this organic waste, they could have dug the ground, then put the organic waste inside the ground, then they will wait for it to get moisture, and then they will turn it periodically until it's what decomposition occurs. That is how specimen D is prepared. What type of fertilizer is specimen B and what crop does it benefit the most? What type of fertilizer is moderate of potash and which plant does it benefit most? Specimen B is an inorganic fertilizer. It benefits roots and fruit crop like tomatoes and yam. So those are the benefits of specimen B to crop. It is an inorganic fertilizer. That is the type of fertilizer specimen B is. It benefits roots and fruit club like crops like tomato and yam. Name two tools used in the application of specimen D. Name two tools used in the application of specimen D. The answers are what? Specimen F and G, spade and wheelbarrow. Spade and wheelbarrow. Those are the two tools used in the application of D. So if you are asked a question about how can specimen EFG be used over on specimen ABCD. So we use spade and wheelbarrow to what? To apply all those manures and fertilizer into the soil. Identify specimen E and state its main function. See, let me just get down straight to the point. You can get your Greek textbook. You can open up to farm equipment and farm tools. You can open up to re, uh, survey tools and get your answers to this question. For specimen EFG, your question is going to be under number two and it will definitely be around this frame I'm about to give you. They can tell you that you should give a description of specimen E. They can ask you to give a description of specimen F. They can ask you to give you a description of specimen G. They can, only, they can also ask you that what are the maintenance properties, maintenance practices? What are the maintenance practices used for specimen EFG? Stored in a dry cook place, it is washed after use. Metallic parts are lubricated. So those are the what? The maintenance practices. Those are the things we use to protect and make sure specimen EFG lasts longer on the farm land so 
states one way in which G facilitate farm operations. So they ask the consider what are the ways your specimen EFG facilitates farm production, farm operations. So you state that it helps in moving heavy loads. So your specimen G with Bayrou helps in moving heavy loads. Your specimen F facilitates the movement of what of heavy loads. Moving on to specimen H. State two control measures for specimen H. What are the two control measures of specimen H? We have two methods. Number one is use of pesticide. That is the chemical control use of pesticide. And the second control measure is crop rotation. So you all definitely know the meaning of crop rotation. This is where you plant a crop on this farmland. Then you have to wait some number of years before you are able to plant it on the same farmland. So it is used specimen H is used to specimen H can be prevented rather via chemical control and what and physical control using pesticide and what and crop rotation now question on specimen I mention two storage practices to prevent damage by specimen E so as we said your cow pea seeds can be stored in an airtight container so that is one way of preventing damage by specimen I. So specimen I cowpea weevil, it attacks what cowpea seeds and it can be pre this attack can be prevented by storing specimen I in airtight container and also applying natural repellents. So there are some natural repellents that repels cowpea weevil. So we can also apply these chemicals on the cowpea to as a natural preventant and also we can also store the cowpea seeds in an airtight container so we have specimen jk that specimen jk they are talking about plants so they can ask you that what are the functions of these plants what are the uses what are the botanical name the botanical name of j is already the central name to Sema Pubesis, what is the botanical name of spear grass? Then moving on to gizzard. What is gizzard? Gizzard is a vital organ in beds. So it is the place where food are grounded, where grains are grinded to absorbable particles for the bed. So when the bed swallows a grain or a seed, the seed moves from the head through the neck to the what? To the crop so the crop is the part of the plant so the plant of the bed let me take it again when a bed swallows a grain the grain moves from the mouth to the crop then from the crop the crop is a temporary storage then from the crop to the pro proventriculus then from the proventriculus to the what to the gizzard where its food is what is grinded so inside this gizzard they are presence of small grits or pebbles that are used to what to crush and grind grains swallowed by what by birds and also bird feeds specimen m goat skin with hairs so what are the function of goat skin with hairs goat skin with hairs can be pro can be can be refined into hides and skin and also refined into what leather so you they can ask you that what are the economic importance of goat skin you have to talk about the importance and the also the negative part of the word of the goat skin they can ask you that what is the importance of the gizzard to the to the bed uh, which i've told you that it helps the bed to what to grind seed particles and to also what to also what digest seed particles is important in the digestion of food in the digestive system of beds specimen n is what is horn so you see goat skin with it. So they can ask you that how can animals be identified with specimen M and N? We have various methods of identifying farm animals. So branding of farm animals on the skin, branding on the horn, and then tying of rope on the horn. So those are methods of identifying farm animals. So the horn of farm animals can also be processed into musical instruments. So we have many economic importance of specimen M and N. So make sure you take note of that exactly. So why? Uh, what are the reasons why the horn? Uh, some animals are dehorned. Number one, it prevents cannibalism. 
it helps to save costs and injury of other animals so there are many benefits of what of the owning the farm animals but then there are also disadvantages it reduces the market value of the what of the farm animals so i want to thank you all i just want to round up the video i don't want this video to be too long if you want the agree cultural practical materials you can also dm me on whatsapp and be direct just tell me that you want the practical material the practical uh, like the predicted questions you want the predicted question that's all but if you want the exact questions you have to dm me on whatsapp and get ready to make payments of six thousand naira per student where you'll be added to our vip group and you'll be receiving all questions and answers midnight and a day to the exam thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel share this video to the end of the world thank you very much see you good luck in your exam wishing you a1s and b2s in your exam thank you very much